Martin, thanks for joining us. Pleasure, Dean. Appreciate it a lot. You're doing your Charlie Rose act. Trying the best we can here. <laughs> A lot of the uh, clients heard you say that uh, digital and consumer insights are right. really important to a WPP, and we thought it would give you a little chance to expand on that a little bit. Here. Yeah, well, I, 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 the growth areas, um, and we're seeing growth even in this recession, and they, they're growing, I think, primarily both short-term and long-term because they're measurable. So, mm -hmm. so we used to, actually, we used to talk about new markets, and we used to talk about new media, <clears throat> and we used to talk about... Um, our research business, but we used to talk about digital and, and research in the context of being more measurable. You know, it's the old thing that Josh mentioned actually in the conference about, you know, you know you waste half your advertising. And what we're seeing with the new media and the, the, the digital side and the research side of the business, it gives us the opportunity to demonstrate to clients that they can get a return on investment in the short term, in the medium term and long term. And you know, no board of directors is going to be permit no. people to spend you know, bil literally billions of dollars on media unless they can demonstrate that there's a tangible re rate of return. So it's treated just like capital projects. And uh, one of the questions that t we didn't get to today was um, they really wanted to know what does digital measurement play? I mean, what role do you think that plays over time and how important does that become? I think it's very important, but I think you know, we tend, to, we meaning, I'm classifying myself now as part of the consumer insight uh, community mm -hmm. uh, or the market research community, we tend to sort of cloak what we do with a mysterious language, uh, statistical techniques. Very uh, long words. Long words. It's a bit like derivatives. I mean, I don't think the people in the banks really understood when they looked at the derivative book or whatever it is. Yeah. You know, Warren Buffett says this, you know, it was impossible for any human being to understand what was the risk profile. The same thing in a way applies here, although I don't think it's quite as toxic. Uh, it applies here in that you have to be able to explain in words of one syllable on one sheet of paper, not a 50-page document with graphs and, and diagrams and God knows what, what, what it means. And, and, and by the way, this applies to insight too. I mean, we can, through n new technologies, get a wealth of data, and it's really making that data uh, coherent and logical and understandable and not just a data dump. So you just don't dump the data on the client because now you, you know, information is, it's not, information is no longer power, it's what you can do with the information and how you manipulate it, or maybe that's mm -hmm. the wrong word, but how you, how you, you play with it and use it in the most effective way. So uh, I, I think it's absolutely vital. And of course the new media give you an, an, an opportunity to measure whether it's set-top box data or mobile data or PC data, it gives you an opportunity now. You have a really right brilliant opportunity to analyze it in a more effective way. And that was one of the following questions from one of the uh, participants is how is WPP positioned to win and help clients win in, in this um, digital media measurement space? So they were, they were kind of digging into, you know, Kantar and the future of TNS Media and how you guys are Well, well I, think, I, I think we're very well positioned. I mean, I think we have all the pieces, if not all the pieces, many of the pieces. Mm -hmm. There may be more pieces that we want to bring in, but I think basically, basically the structure is right. The issue is getting everybody to play together. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it really is a, it's a communications issue for us. The clients, I think, sort of understand where we are. You know, when we describe our business of consumer insight and link it to media planning behind, or media investment management, as mm -hmm. we call it, it's a much better phrase for it. I like that, yeah. Or link it, or link it to digital. They understand why that's important. Our own people, because we tend to work in silos, um, and you know, because of natural human nature, you know, you have a coordination problem with two people in an organization. We've got 112,000 people. I mean, you imagine the coordination issues, particularly when we're multi-branded. I, I think what you have to do is, is to get people to understand the leverage opportunities. And I think with TNS, actually, it's quite interesting. I think quality of the people in TNS is extremely good, very high. And what we've seen already is that when we involve TNS people in say healthcare pitches or technology pitches, they bring a, a, a dimension and a dynamic mm -hmm. uh, which is very strong. Um, and so I think, I think there's a big opportunity there. But the key issue for us is getting our people to work together, that when they have an issue uh, or they have an opportunity, that they know what the resources are that we've got right. and how they can be deployed effectively. What about social media? Um, friend or foe for marketers? Um, well, I think, you, you know, you look at social media as being, I think, a, a more a public relations 
mechanism rather than an advertising medium. Traditional, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think you know, I think social media is about editorial publicity. I mean, you know, we, it's it replaces letter writing. So we used to write letters to one another mm -hmm. a long, long time ago. Shows you how dated I am. I don't, know, now how, they get, I don't know how they get anything done. <laughs> now you now you get together through Facebook or whatever it happens to be. Yeah. And I think it's so it's it's a, a social medium. It's a means of communication. And the the giveaway is when. Facebook, I mean, Mark Zuckerberg must know more about social media than anybody on the planet. And yet he, you know, with Beacon and more recently on the privacy issues, mm -hmm. even they made mistakes. Right. Uh, and, and the reason they made mistakes is that they're trying to monetize it, right, which is exactly. understandable. And these media are probably not monetizable. Uh, they're not advertised. I mean, a YouTube might be, right? You may be able to develop a very good advertising platform out of it, but I don't think Facebook uh, you know, and Twitter uh, and Flickr are, are necessary. These are social media, as they're called, mm -hmm. and the reason that people engage in them is not for commercial reasons, but because they want to connect with one another. Therefore, public relations. I mean, we've seen social media stimulate public relations revenues, although mm -hmm. last quarter or so that has not been so much the case. But I, I, I think that they are essentially a public relations medium. Mm -hmm. I think things like YouTube. Google, obviously, Yahoo, AOL, these are more advertising media. You know, it's interesting. Facebook is probably, I think, around 400 million in revenue. Yeah. And uh, with that. Well, point, that's what we think it is. Exactly. Nobody, nobody really knows. That's what they're signaling. But yeah. with that type of having run internet companies, with that type of girth, that size of audience, it, they should have a few zeros after that. That's number. right. Yes. So it is, is It is still in search of a business model. And, and well, Mark, Mark, of course, says, uh, and I, I don't know where Sheryl Sandberg is. Is now is now up the ante, but Mark says, you know, all I have to do is to all his people have to do is to earn one dollar more than their cost. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Social media. Well, run as a social media company, and then just um, on on Kantar and TNS Media. Yeah. The um, the more syndicatable types of data monitoring analytics assets. Yeah. Where do you see that going in the next couple of years and helping clients? Well, I you know that's a I think obviously syndicated or semi syndicated is 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 significantly better I think obviously than, than custom and certainly you see that sure. in the margins and I think finding systems you know or world panel right finding systems that clients can use and that can be replicated very easily is a, a much much better business in a sense than, than than custom where you have to reinvent the wheel mm -hmm. all the time. So I think building syndicated data services on a more comprehensive basis is really where we should push Kantar plus TNS further. And you know Eric's doing that and, mm -hmm. and that will happen, you know, whether and Mill Brown to me in a way is a semi syndicated business. R I and TNS are much, or the or the custom piece right. of it, obviously much more custom orientated, but I do the syndicated services where we're, that's where, you know, frankly, the margins are, and that's where the, I think the greater opportunities are.